My husband Ray and I are veteran homeschooling parents who love history. America the Beautiful is a one-year American history curriculum developed for students in grades five through eight. America the Beautiful takes students on a journey through the history of America from before Christopher Columbus's voyage in 1492 to events that have taken place in the 21st century. In addition to history, America the Beautiful provides assignments in geography, Bible study, vocabulary, creative writing, literature, and art. You can use America the Beautiful for history only, or you can use America the Beautiful as your core curriculum for a whole school year. Simply add math, science, and perhaps some grammar, and you're set for a fantastic year. The America the Beautiful curriculum has two beautiful hardcover books with 75 lessons each for a total of 150 lessons, which are divided into 30 chronological units. Units contain a variety of lesson topics, history narratives, biographies, American landmarks, everyday life, and the geographical wonders God has created in our beautiful country. Let's go through one unit to show you how it works. Each unit has five lessons. I'll show you unit 25, which covers the 1950s. Each unit introduction page shows a list of lessons, the recommended literature title that goes along with this unit, and a quick summary of the unit. The first lesson in this unit, Our American Story, is about the presidency of President Eisenhower. As you can see, America the Beautiful is richly illustrated with photographs and illustrations. On average, lessons take about 10 to 15 minutes to read. At the end of each lesson, you will find a list of suggested activities. You get to choose which activities work best for your child. To help you see the scope of the curriculum, I will explain what your child would do if he did all of the possible assignments. At the end of this lesson, your student will complete a Bible assignment. Because she learned about the early American space program, she will copy a Bible passage about the heavens. She will also complete a vocabulary activity using five words from today's lesson. This lesson includes a literature assignment. There are two types of literature assignments in America the Beautiful. Primary source documents found in We the People and 10 literature titles recommended to be read at appropriate time periods. We the People is a collection of journal entries, newspaper articles, advertisements, poems, songs, letters, short stories, speeches, and other historical documents from American history. We the People is included in the America the Beautiful curriculum package. Today, your student reads a letter of sympathy that President Eisenhower wrote to a mother who lost her son in World War II. After this lesson, students also read the first chapter of Homer Price. Your student also makes an entry in the timeline book. Your child simply finds the box for 1958 in the timeline book and writes, the first U.S. satellite is launched. This is one fact that the student learned in today's lesson. We offer two optional ways to review the material in each lesson, the student workbook and the lesson review. The student workbook has one hand worksheet for each lesson. These include secret codes, drawing ideas, crosswords, matching, and other assignments. The lesson review book has five short answer questions for each lesson. You can discuss these questions with your child or have him answer in writing. The next lesson in this unit 
takes a look at daily life during the 1950s with a focus on culture and the lives of children and their families. Today in We the People, the student reads the very brief joint resolution of Congress which added the words, under God, to the Pledge of Allegiance. The student also has a creative writing assignment, a timeline assignment, and today's activity in the student workbook or lesson review. In addition, this lesson has a family activity. At the end of one lesson in each unit, we give instructions for a hands-on activity, such as a fun game, a yummy recipe, or a creative art project related to the lesson. In this unit, your student will create a model of a 1950s style television, which can also be used as a puppet stage. The American Landmark lesson for this unit looks at Little Rock Central High School in Arkansas, where controversy arose in 1957 over racial integration. This lesson includes an assignment in the map book. Your student will turn to map three and complete the assignments for lesson 123. The map book assignments give students a geographical review of the places discussed in the lesson text. This map activity is a simple one. Students simply find and circle the location of Little Rock Central High so that they know where it is in relation to the rest of the country. This lesson also includes a reading in We the People. Today's reading is the transcript of President Eisenhower's television address to the American people concerning the events in Little Rock. Your student also completes a Thinking Biblically assignment, a Timeline assignment, and an activity in the Student Workbook or Lesson Review. A biography of painter Norman Rockwell is featured in the next lesson of Unit 25. Assignments for this lesson include vocabulary, literature, creative writing, a timeline entry, and the daily assignment in the student workbook or lesson review. The final lesson in this unit takes a look at one of God's wonders, the beautiful state of Alaska. Students learn about the geography and the history of Alaska. We included Alaska in this unit because Alaska became a state during this time period. In addition to the Thinking Biblically vocabulary and timeline assignments for this lesson, students read a missionary's first-hand account of seeing the Northern Lights in We the People. Today's lesson also has a more extensive map assignment. Students will identify a number of Alaska's geographic features on this map. So that's one unit. America the Beautiful is easy to use for both the parent and the student. All of the instructions are included right in their history books. You have very little planning or preparation to do, whether you're using it simply for history or making it the core curriculum for your entire school year. Parents tell us that children beg to do history when using America the Beautiful and that they love sharing the exciting things that they learn each day. Students with a variety of learning styles succeed. America the Beautiful equips you to teach the heart, soul, and mind of your child. Download sample units from our website to review with your child we are available to answer any questions you have. We would love to be a part of your homeschooling journey. Thanks for watching.